the Office of Naval Research, Innovations for the Future Force. The U.S. Navy and Marine Corps depend on reliable sources of energy on ships, on shore, and in the air. Whether we're operating in home waters or we're forward deployed, it's a strategic asset and that's uh, critical to meeting our mission success. The Office of Naval Research, ONR, is sponsoring young, tech-savvy student veterans, top technical engineers, and devoted educators to work together to achieve energy expertise for the Naval Future Force. The ONR program is called ESTEP, Energy System Technology Evaluation Program. The idea is to provide hands-on energy collaborations between Navy and Marine Corps student veterans and educational institutions around the country. It's a technology evaluation program for energy systems and it is a professional development program for our veteran interns. There's really nothing, nothing you can overtask them with. They have so much real-world knowledge that when they come in, there's nothing that can intimidate them. So we can assign veterans, students who are studying in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, to these internships. So they get paid, they have an opportunity to see what these scientists and engineers are doing. ONR's E-STEP program is a true partnership between multiple players on the cutting edge of energy research. It brings together the Naval Postgraduate School, the Naval Facilities Engineering Command, Cal State San Marcos, and the Space and Naval Warfare Systems Command, SPAYWAR, to evaluate energy technologies and develop an energy-savvy future workforce. Number one, they relate right away to what I'm talking about. They don't have to read a textbook or you know, go Google it. They know why this is important. While they're learning, they're actually sharing their experiences and we're learning from them as well. E-STEP success stories for improved energy technologies can already be found on ships, in the air, and on naval bases. E-STEP interns are working on everything, from improved energy use in naval facilities to cybersecurity and energy-related programs. One E-STEP project evaluates security technologies to thwart cyber interference with the power grid. One of the aspects that we specifically look at is the security of this energy from the cyber perspective. Because in a world that is becoming increasingly automated and industrialized, one flip of a switch can be the difference between everything running like it should and everything going dark without us knowing what happened. So veterans are a huge component, not just of ESTA, but of the work that we've been able to do here at the center. Their knowledge, their experience, their leadership skills are key to our projects. E-STEP Focus also includes testing and evaluating alternative energy solutions, like solar power. And what we're looking at here is an array of mirrors that track the sun and bounce light into solar panels. E-STEP intern participation has been instrumental in this project. These folks are both highly motivated and well-educated. Now what we have is a cadre of energy experts in the Navy because of this program. E-STEP intern Arthur Rubio is a veteran of Iraq and Afghanistan and a systems engineer at SPAYWAR. Rubio is working on innovative ways to protect the power grid. E-STEP is a great program. It allowed me to utilize my current experience in the Marine Corps and as well as my private sector uh, experience as an electrician. Veterans who have been through the E-STEP program say it has made major impacts on their lives and they encourage their fellow veterans to get involved. John San Miguel, a Marine Corps veteran and E-STEP participant, says the program has been life-changing and he's proud of the contributions he's making to the nation's energy future. Definitely I would start to visit their veteran center and start asking around and looking at uh, potential programs that can get them internships like the E-STEP. Like I said, it not only gave me a job upon graduation, but it gave me a profession. Ankit Panchal is a Cal State University computer science student. Before being accepted to the E-STEP program, Panchal was a full-time student during the day and a security guard at night, often barely able to catch a quick nap on the floor of the Veterans Center on campus. There are times where I was sleeping on the, on the concrete with my backpack as a pillow because the Veterans Center was closed. Um, but it was just the mentality, hey, we got to get this done because this will all end one day. Panchal's acceptance into the E-STEP program changed all that. I was hired on as an E-STEP intern with the Spay War team and I was able to quit from that job. Personally, it's been a life-changing experience for me. The veterans that have been coming through that program, almost 90% if they've finished the program and have graduated have moved into jobs related to what they've learned there. 
They're making uh, tremendous progress towards what is a real imperative of protecting our uh, critical infrastructure for delivering the energy needs of the United States Navy. For more information, please contact the Office of Naval Research at www.onr.navy.mil.